Today in this video, we will talk about all things knee joint stabilization. So let's go! Hi, I'm Melanie the Physio, also the co-founder of Capital Physiotherapy here in Australia. There are a whole playlist delegated for knee discomfort and knee related issue. Even though the title might not suit you, I still highly recommend you check them out because there will be exercise that might benefit you right now. Let me know down in the comment below why have you clicked on this video. Now, your stability of your knee depends on static factor and dynamic factor. And what I mean by those two factors is static factors are structures in your knee that are um, not able to alter by human training. Some key important passive structure or static factor in your knees are things like the meniscus, your ligaments and like your MCL, your LCL, your ACL and your PCL as well as like your patella tendon or even your IT band is actually part of what helps stabilize the knee. Now because the passive structure or the static factor of your knee, it's not something that we can physically change to make them stronger. If people come into our clinic or if you are suffering from injury of the passive structure of your knee, say for example if you have a meniscus tear or if you have an ACL reconstruction or if you have a PCL tear or any ligaments tear around your knee, then most of the time as a physio, what we'll recommend our client is to start strengthening and it is therefore vital for you to then strengthen up your dynamic factors or your active structure to help manage your injury and to help your knee joint to be as strong and as stable as you are able to make them. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the knee stabilizing exercise that I normally recommend to all my knee injury clients. These exercises varies in their level of difficulty, so I highly recommend you do them at your own pace. To begin with, we have the static wall squat. So all you need to do is lean against the wall and squat down into a mini squat. You can start with mini squat first and then progress to a half squat if you feel like your knee is strong enough to do them. Hold that position for a good 30 seconds and then come back up. Repeat this exercise and start them with 30 seconds and five repetition and slowly progress them to 30 seconds, 10 repetition per day. The next exercise is isometric hamstring strengthening. So you want to lie down on the floor with both of your legs up on a bench or a chair and make sure that your heel is pressing down on the chair. Now you don't have to do anything, you don't have to change any of your position. You just need to press down your heel as hard as you can towards the floor and you should feel the back of your knee turning on. Hold this position for 30 seconds and then relax. When you first start, try to repeat this exercise for 30 seconds and five repetition and slowly as you get stronger, try to progress them to 30 seconds and 10 repetition instead. The next exercise is hamstring bridges. So again, with this exercise, you want to lie down on the floor and you want to put your legs up on the chair, making sure again that it's only your heel that's pressing down on your chair and you want to press down on your heel just like the previous exercise but this time round, you want to lift your bum up as high as you can, keeping your back nice and flat and not arching your back too much and then slowly lower them down again. Press your heel, lift up your bum, hold and slowly lower them down again. Now same thing with the previous exercise. With this exercise, you should feel that the back of your leg is working. Repeat this exercise for 20 repetitions and do them for three sets. The next exercise is single leg sit to stand. You want to sit on a chair or a bench. Make sure you put your heel nice and close to your body and lift the other leg up. So you're only doing this exercise with one leg. Now you can hold on to the wall to start with if you feel like you're a little bit unsteady. Hold on to the wall or a table beside you and stand up straight with one leg and then slowly lower them back down again. Repeat this for 20 repetitions and do that for 3 sets. 
If you find that you're getting value out of this video so far, make sure you hit the like, subscribe and bell notification button because we will have a lot more knee related topic coming up in the very near future. Now the next exercise is to train your knee stability by training your knee balance capacity. It's single leg knee balancing. So on the floor, you want to use a masking tape or some tape that is removable from your floor. Draw a crisscross around them and have a line across them horizontally and a line across them straight in the middle vertically, just like how the picture has shown. You want to stand in the middle of the crisscross with your injured knee. And with the uninjured leg, you're gonna tap at the end of each of the points of the masking tape, just like how you draw a nice circle around them. Try to keep your balance and repeat this exercise for 10 repetitions. Now the next exercise is consider high impact. So make sure your knee really do have the capacity before you start this exercise. It's the box jump exercise. Now you can do this on a park bench that is nice and stable or you can get a nice and steady um, box jump equipment as well that you can get from any sport shops. Now stand on both legs, making sure that you've warmed up before you do this exercise and jump onto the bench or jump onto the box that you're trying to jump. Start with fairly low height first and slowly build your way up. Repeat this exercise for 15 repetitions and do them for three sets, making sure that you're always bending your knee and you're not landing on a straight knee with this exercise. Now the next exercise is lunges. You can do this exercise with or without an arm weight. Obviously with uh, arm weights, it will be much harder and depending on how heavy you're holding, the heavier, the more difficult the exercise become. Now, step one foot in front and one foot back, making sure that your back foot, you come onto the balls of your feet so then your heel is off the floor. Now you don't have to spread super wide, just wide enough that it's comfortable. Now a lot of people do this exercise wrong by leaning too far forward and that's not right. You want to make sure that your shoulder, your hip is going directly straight down and you should be able to see your toes while you're doing it. Repeat this exercise for 15 repetitions and do that for three sets. Now the next exercise is squat with calf raises. So you want to face towards the wall. Now make sure you step slightly a few inch off away from the floor and go into a half squat, making sure you stick your bum backwards and go into a half squat. Lean your whole body forward. Now you can lightly touch the wall for balance with this exercise. You then want to bring both legs up onto the tippy toes and then slowly lower them back down again. Now these exercise, if you do it a few repetitions, you will start to feel that the front of your thigh is really burning. Repeat this exercise for 30 repetition. If you would like to learn more, head on to our private Facebook page at Ask Mel the Physio and you would have access to all the free PDF for knee related topic as well as every other free educational booklet that we will have from now onwards. I upload video here on a weekly basis on health and fitness related topic as well as injury rehab topic. Once again, I'm Melanie and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, happy and healthy. Good luck with your exercise. See ya!